Hey everybody, welcome to another test. This is a, a, a redo of a test that I did yesterday uh, involving the new AdAware. For some odd reason, when I installed it on my virtual machine, the active security wasn't installed and it wasn't working right. So I reinstalled it this morning to test it out, and this time it installed right. So I decided to take down that first review and redo it. As simple as that. So as you can see here, this time it actually worked. So you get this processes on, actively blocks malicious processes. And you can show details, I guess, if you want. Uh, if we go to advanced here, you can you can see that that's checked. And you get the antivirus engine and when log on protection. Um, you know, you get your different scans and stuff. And this time when I do a scan, I'm just going to do a quick scan, even though I normally like to do a full scan. Yesterday, it took almost three hours to do a full scan, and I'm not going to wait around that much for today. Um, some of the other things here. Memory usage. We're looking at, uh, you know, between 28, I've seen it 14, I've seen much more, but it seems to average up right around 30 megs while the computer is just sitting here. And remember, this is a virtual machine that has nothing installed on it. It is just Windows plain Jane. So let's open up Internet Explorer here. I have some uh, links here. I don't know how many of these will actually work or not. They're all fairly new. I think, I don't know, 12 hours maybe. So let's get testing here. I think this 217.23.7.3 IP is not going to work. I think I was having trouble with some of these. Are some of the la same links that I used last time, if I remember right. I was having trouble with some of these, getting some of these to work. So I'm going to skip those for the time being. Boy, nothing seems to work now. Okay, that one popped up. Okay, and that one was blocked. So I'm going to have to get a bunch of new links because a lot of these don't seem to be working. A lot of these don't want to work. Uh, seems like they don't, don't want to work at all with this version of Windows. So I'm going to skip that next one and go to the bottom one. And it looks like I'm going to have to get a bunch of new links here for you guys. Might as well do this last one here. Just for the hay of it. Let me try this one again. Maybe I can get it to work, but I highly doubt it. Alright, so let me pause the video and just grab a bunch of new links. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Let's try some of these. I haven't checked any of these to see what their detection ratio or whatever is. So, looks like that one doesn't work course. 
Okay, here we go. I think cause some of these are some of these over here. I'm not sure which ones, but some of these are fake AV. So we'll let those work in the background, do whatever they're doing. Go on to the last one here. We've got two more. Okay, it looks like that one got blocked from something. Now something wants internet access. So I'm going to allow it, and we'll see what pops up. one and that one seems to be down okay so let's check out see if we have anything just kind of running around in okay it looks like that one got blocked let's see if I see anything weird and out of the ordinary Nothing that really pops up. Maybe that. Not sure whatever that is. But I'm gonna make sure that this is updated now. So I can show you guys. I did update before, you can see I did update today. But I'll update again just to make sure. So I can show you guys that it is updated. phone's ringing. Okay, so I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to start a quick scan and I'll be back when the scan is done. Alright everybody, I'm back here. I was on the phone for a while, but um, I paused the machine, the virtual machine, because it, uh, it finished scanning and I didn't want it to do anything else, so uh, I'll resume it right now. It's going to take a little bit of time, a couple, maybe a minute or two before it starts to respond, so I'll be right back. Okay, so the scan finished, the quick scan, because like I said, I didn't want to do that full scan. It dried me up the walls. And I found a couple of things here. I found a generic, a Trojan, a fraud tool. Uh, looks like a behavior, behaves like something or other here. Though I don't know exactly what, because it doesn't let me say. Oh, there it is. Oh, maybe it says right there. Oh, okay, malware. And um, another Trojan generic. So I'm going to perform all these actions. And it's probably going to ask me to restart. I mean, it already did. So I'm going to close this up. And I'm going to restart now. And I'll be back when it's done restarting. And I guess I'll do another quick scan to make sure it doesn't find anything else. And if it does or if it doesn't, I'll show you after the second quick scan is done to make sure that it, nothing else popped up. So I'll be back uh, when that's done. Okay, so I did uh, another quick scan, and it looks like I found a couple of uh, extra things here. It doesn't, I can't really... It's really kind of annoying if I try to... Let's see where these files are at. Okay, so they're in temporary internet files. But that's all right. I'll uh, I'll get rid of them. I'll put them in quarantine, and I'll do the restart and quick scan procedure again until everything um, till it doesn't find anything anymore. So I'll be back after another quick scan. Okay, so I did another smart scan, as they call it, quick quick scan, and I didn't find anything this time. So I'm gonna open up my uh, testing tools here. I'm gonna run CCleaner to get rid of any of the temporary internet files that are there. And then after I do that, I'm going to uh, install and run Malwarebytes. So I will be back with the results from Malwarebytes whenever it's done scanning. So I'll see you then. Okay, so 
Now we're about to finish scanning here and uh, found four things and it looks like I found uh, whoop, a bunch of files associated with a piece of spyware here passwords exogen and uh, looks like there's a file stuck in uh, C drive and there's a, a registry key change here that asked to run this file probably every time um, Windows is started you can see right there so this is all associated with that one infection. So I'm going to remove these, and I'm not going to restart right now. And because I have some extra time, I'm going to do a super anti-spyware scan, just for the hay of it, so we can uh, make sure we get a more thorough test. And I will pause the video, and I'll be back when super anti-spyware is finished scanning. Okay. So, Super Anti Spyware finished scanning here, and as you see, it didn't find anything. So, last but not least, I'm going to do a scan with Hitman Pro to see if anything else pops up. So, I will be back when that's done scanning. Okay, so, as you can see, Hitman Pro finished scanning and it didn't find anything. Final um, synopsis, I guess of the new Adware 9.0. In blocking, it didn't do that good. Um, as you saw, it blocked a couple of things, but it let a lot of stuff through. On the other hand, it did do pretty decent in cleaning. It cleaned up, I think, a total of... Oh boy, I'm trying to remember. 10 infections, or was that 14? Ah, something like that. So it did a much better job of cleaning the infections after it let them in. So what's that say about the program? Well, in my opinion, there's two things. Um, I probably wouldn't use it as a protection aspect of my system because it doesn't doesn't seem to do that great of a job. But at the same time, if it didn't run all the time and I could use it as a on-demand scanner, I could keep it. But it seems to want to run all the time in the background. So then as an on-demand scanner, it's kind of useless because it's taking up your system resources. So it kind of falls in between that category of not good enough for one thing and not good enough for another. It would be a decent cleaner if it didn't run all the time, but it's not a decent enough protection, so it doesn't offer decent enough protect protection, uh, so there's no point of having it run all the time. Hope you guys understand what I'm saying. So my my final thing is, I guess you could use it if you really wanted to, but personally I think there's better options out there that are free, lighter, and offer much more protection. Now if they would just let you install it without having it to run in the background, then maybe uh, it would do something to provide a little bit extra. You know, use it as a program to check, double check your system and see if you have any infections and that type of stuff. So that's it for this review. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, and um, I'll talk to everybody later, and I'm going to go upload it online right now. Take care.